guys. Jenny Conley, Jesus on the Happy Book Dirge. Nice job. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Yeah. Um, welcome to the Happy Book. Kind of a weird name, huh, for right now. Um, before I start, I was going to say a couple things. An hour ago, um, seriously thought about walking out here telling you God loves you and uh, going black. Um, I know that there are a lot of other artists that are that, that have decided to uh, to go dark with their shows and I commend them. Um, however, it's important to me that there is never a time that art should go dark, ever. Um, I'm a massive, or, or, or artistic boycotts. I'm a massive fan of Roger Waters. And I think he's wrong with boycotts. I think that, you know, he needs to go to Israel. He needs to play a show. And if he doesn't want to give the money to Israeli promoters, he needs to play in Ramallah. Um, so, you know, at the risk of sounding disingenuous about about why I'm doing this show, I, I just, it, it goes against everything I believe when it comes to art. Is what I do art? Um, that's a great question, and, I, and, and it's not one that I can answer. But I, I think that, uh, for me, that's the wrong move, and it's the wrong move every time. Um, before I start, there's a couple of things that I, that I wanted to say to address that. Um, so, uh, I, I want to make sure, well, you know what, first I want to say, um, Tom's Psalm of the Day. Um, my friend Tom sends me, sends me Psalms and biblical passages that I think are, are always pertinent. This is Psalm 64, 6 through 9 from the New American Standard Bible. They devise injustices, saying, we are ready with a well-conceived plot. For the inward thought and the heart of a man are deep. But God will shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they will be wounded so that, they, so that they will make him stumble. Their own tongue is against them. All who see them will shake the head, and then all men will fear. And they will declare the work of God and will consider what he has done. And, you know, my friend Tom, though I was raised, you know, pretty hardcore Irish Lebanese Catholic um, always gives me something that sort of brings me back to my faith. And in these times, um, I hang on to my faith. And people can be, well, that's just ridiculous, Jerry. You know, religion is the opiate of the people. You know, fuck that. It's important to me. It's important to my, my sense of history, my familial history. Um, I think that and I wanted to make sure that I got this right. Tariq El Tayeb Mohammed Bouazizi. I'll say it again. Tariq El Tayeb Mohammed Bouazizi. He was a, a vendor in Tunisia and relatively educated. Um, and he decided that the, the, the most important thing that he could do was to light himself on fire. Um, George Floyd did not choose his martyrdom, but Tariq, um, at the time he could not have known, and neither, neither could Mubarak in Egypt, neither could Gaddafi in Libya have known that that act was going to bring down half the dictatorships of, of the Middle East, and, you know, Pretty quickly, there were a million people in Tahir Square. Um, you know, Charlie Freeman and myself were 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 were, were in. Um, I'm gonna say it wrong because I'm nervous. Taksim Square in in Istanbul um, during the, during the riots there, or, or what we thought were the riots, and then we were in the middle of all of this stuff, and all of a sudden everybody just left, and they started going home. We're like, what's going on? They're like, it's dinner time, and. Uh, as I said, 
George Floyd didn't choose that. And um, my son, Judah, has been crying off and on for two days when he finally understood what I can't breathe means. And, uh, you know, he's got... It's very important to me to not sit here and try to pitch my, my, my geopolitical international cred nor my black cred. Um, I'm a white-ass guy. I'm from La Jolla, California. And, but for my son, um, I Can't Breathe resonates strongly because that would include his brother and, 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 and nieces and nephews. So I have this tendency to, to get off point um, and to get off message. As anyone that's followed me for a while, you know that my a lot of my interests tend to be uh, geopolitical. Um, and when I start to talk about, well, what about ICE and what about deporting, you know, Mexican fathers and mothers to certain execution in Honduras and El Salvador, my wife Terry has been very enlightening and clear to me that 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 you can't get off fucking message. We are speaking to four, almost 500 years of institutional racism in America. And for today, black lives matter, and that's fucking it. Not your Mexican life, not your gay life, not your trans life. As important as those things may be, the moment now is a singular focus about institutionalized racism. And if we don't speak to that, then we can't fucking speak to anything. And so I want to thank my wife, and I want to thank Terry for, for two days of battle about that because I'm a, I'm a big, you know, what about well, you know, refugees and not and not, you know, and, and she's right. She calls bullshit, and this is, a, this is the tipping point. This is what got people into the streets. They need to stay in the streets. Um, I suppose if you're watching this, means you're not marching unless you happen to be walking across the Burnside Bridge watching the happy book on, on, on your handheld device. But we're at this moment. We are at a moment where we are clearly staring down the barrel of fascism. I believe wholeheartedly that Donald Trump has never had any intention of anything but a quasi-fascist dictatorship. And I don't say that as a bleeding heart liberal. I say that as somebody that has been in fashion states, fascist states, I have fashion states. I've been to Maj's house, no. <laughs> fascist states. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been in countries immediately before the revolution, during the revolution, and immediately after. And what I know, and there's very little that I know, um, but the little that I know, one of the things is this, that it, uh, revolution, and when I see people, you know, this is our time, this is revolution, and whatever, you have to realize that by picking a side, and, and don't get me wrong, I advocate that you pick a fucking side. You are either fascist or you're anti-fascist. You are either, I'm a Trumper, or you're Antifa. And you need to remember that what, what that means. I mean, something like, I'm a Trumper. I, I think it's pretty clear your manifesto. I think Antifa is a little bit broader, and we can all kind of pat ourselves on the back and go, I'm anti-fascist. That's great. But if the President of the United States actually puts the American military against the American people, and the American military becomes the enemy, and the police become the en enemy, I would tell you 100% that ICE is the enemy. I would tell you 100% that these right-wing militias are the enemy. Um, if we ever get to an election and you decide that I'm not going to vote because I think Joe Biden is a whatever, a creepy old man that fondles people's hair, it makes you the fucking enemy because you're just allowing a, another vote for Trump. And I know I'm gonna get a shit ton of heat for that, but I believe it in every bone in my body. I'm not sure that we're gonna get to an election. I'm not sure that we are gonna have a chance to exercise our, our democracy and the rights that are inherent to that. But I think that you need to remember that as we pick a side, that there will be horrors and atrocity on each side.
And, you know, in my life and as a young man, I was a big supporter of the IRA. I was a supporter of the PLO. I was a, certainly a supporter of the Sandinistas. And I could list for you the, the atrocities com committed by the side that, that I supported. And it got them to the table. You know, Jerry Adams has a parliamentary seat. Um, Yasser Arafat went to the United Nations. Danny Ortega, the fascist that he's become, led his revolution. Somoza fled. And we could look at a m hundreds, if not thousands, of things that any of those organizations did that were horrific. Blowing up buses full of kids. You know, you, you go for Palestinian rights, and then the next thing you know, you know, they blow up a disco full of teenagers who are trying to learn how to get a date. Um, and I think it's important to remember, you know, as we pick these sides, um, I, I was talking to a good friend of mine driving over here asking about whether I should play this show and then talking about a lot of these things. You know, what about Antifa? What about the relationship between between Black Lives Matter? And, and you know, she said, I, I'm against violence," she said. "I'm, I'm, I'm, whatever is nonviolent, and, and and I disagree. I think the people that know me well would know that Jerry Joseph is anything but a pacifist, and I don't believe that you come to the table silently marching. So, on that note, um, I'm going to play my show for a little bit shorter of a time than usual, and um, I, I. I never know quite how to articulate what I, what I think. I, 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 I'm a Malcolm over, over, over Dr. King. Um, I don't think that, that Dr. King or Mahatma Gandhi, I, I mean, they may be two examples of, of, of nonviolent revolution, but that's very rare, and many people died in that process. So when people are hitting the streets, I think that the, at the moment you say, well, what about the riots and what about the looting? Fuck you. You know, it's, it's, you're putting property above, above human life. And 400 going on 500 years of systematic racism and the rage that is in every fiber of black America, um, I think you're your fears of, 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 of a burning Starbucks is, is moot and selfish. Um, so, I don't, uh, when I do fundraising, um, I try to do one of two things. Either one, I do, I, I, I try to raise money for the greater family. That means people associated with us with health issues. Or I've tried very hard to raise money to things that, I, that I'm active in. So if I say, send me money to raise, to, to, to buy guitars to take to the Syrian border or Afghanistan, I'm only going to do that if I'm delivering the fucking guitar. And I don't, I don't, Siri's talking to me. What does that mean, Dex? Why is Siri talking to me? She says, you're a terrorist, Jerry. Really, Siri? Um... So I do not have a specific um, nonprofit that I'm doing this show for. Um, you know, it's my job. I think it's important to, to, to do the work, to show up. Um, if you would like, I think you could go to 8cantwait.org. That's 8, the number, can't wait, lowercase together, dot org. Decrease police violence by 72%. Go there, do your research. You know, and when I see a lot of these musicians saying, you know, we're gonna go dark this evening so that we can reflect and study, like, more power to them. And, and you should reflect and you should study. That all said, um, you know, call me a little egomaniac dwarf or call me whatever you wish. Um, I'm going to make music. <laughs> Because it's the only fucking thing I know how to do. And uh, I'm going to start with this song that was certainly by no means written as a...
Dex, am I in tune, buddy? Nope. Um, I turned around. Mm. I thought Dex was here, but then I, I realized he's not. He left. Am I in tune? Yeah. 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 Y
Time to safety, everyone. Well, I'm a safety ride. Every goddamn time. And And he's calling out my name There were dragons in the sky And they were calling out my name And all guys little angels Calling out my name I said, Jesus, can you hear me? Calling out your name Hear me Head down to the river with your rod And all that is not good Will certainly be our God Better make my presence felt by All the ones you thought that you destroyed Yeah and angels and devils, well, they are the ones that bring us back to Help me, baby. Help me, child. Hey. Surely mold you into something you don't like. Get you running, 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 running like a rabbit. Put your finger in the dike. I call you on the phone, tell you that it's Kuthal. Put your fingers in your ears for your head explodes. I get been there, it'll roll along as usual. We must grab each other's collar. We can rise out of the water. Cause you know as well as I do, it's no good to die alone. God bless George Floyd. After all that I've been through, you're the only one that matters. Yeah. You never left me here in the dark here on my own, yeah. I hear your water rising over, let me be your letter, And I promise you'll be dry, never be alone, yeah, yeah. After all I've been through, you're the only one that matters. Mama, you never left me here in the dark here on my own. Mama, I can hear your water rising over. Let me be your letter, Mama. I promise you'll be dry. Never be alone. Kind of safety, right? March to safety, right? Fight for safety, right? Love to safety, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Hey. Thank you so much. Um, what's that song called, Dex?